Namaste. We've been looking at the names of Lord Krishna in the 10th chapter of Bhagavad Gita. The previous episode we saw Adi Deva. Today we'll be looking at the same sloka, the 10th chapter, 12th sloka, because Arjuna addresses Krishna with a variety of names in this particular sloka. In fact, there are some names which can be called as the unique identifier of the Lord. What do we mean by the unique identifier of the Lord? This is called as Lakshana. Suppose a person is not able to pick up his child from school. So he's asking his neighbor, uh, can you please go pick up my child because uh, you know, I'm a little busy today. So his neighbor asks like, how do I identify your child? So this person says like, well, um, my kid will be wearing a blue color uniform. So just go to the school and pick up the kid. All the kids in the school will be wearing a blue color uniform. How do I uniquely identify that this is your child? Please let me know specifically. So then the person says, okay, uh, this is the height, this is the color, this is the name, this is the class, this is the session, so on and so forth. So that the kid can be identified uniquely, right? So also to identify Lord, there are certain unique qualities which can never be replicated by anybody else. So Arjuna addresses Lord Krishna with these names which are called as Lakshanas of the Lord. So what are some of the names he uses? So those are revealed in this beautiful sloka. So this sloka is uh, extremely useful for us to keep contemplating on the divine names of the Lord. Param Brahma Parandhama Pavitram Paramam Bhavan Purusham Shashvatam Divyam Adi Devam Ajam Vibhum here, Arjuna addresses Lord Krishna as Param Brahma, Parandama, Pavitram, Paramam, Bhavan. So, Parabrahma is the very first name he calls. He says, Bhavan, Param Brahma. So, he says, Hey Krishna, Bhavan, you are the Parabrahma himself. So, what do we mean by Parabrahma? What is Brahma? Brahma has been used in Bhagavad Gita to refer to so many different things. In fact, there is a sloka where Brahmarpanam Brahma Havihi Brahma Agno Brahmana Hutam Brahma Ivatena Gandavyam Brahma Karma Samadina in which every single word Brahma actually represents a totally different thing. So, how do we know what Arjuna says here? Therefore, Arjuna has a qualifier Param Brahma. Param means the ultimate. Param Brahma, the ultimate, the superior, the best Brahma is you. So what do we mean by ultimate Brahma or the most superior Brahma is? It is defined extremely well in Taitriya Upanishad where the definition of Parabrahma is given. Bhagavad Ramanuja uses this to address and explain to us what this sloka actually means. It says, Eto va imani bhutani jayante E na jata ni jivanti, so on and so forth. From where the entire creation comes in, which is the reason for the existence of everything and when they perish, where everything goes back, that is Parabrahma. So the entire creation comes from a place that is sustained and then it goes back to the same place. So whichever does that, that is Parabrahma. How do we understand this? How can something go from this, come from the same place and go back to the same place? So if we look at a spider, we can understand this very easily. So a spider basically creates a web and this web is created by the fluids inside its own body. And after the spider gets it free, what happens? The spider eats back the fluid into itself. It takes back the entire fluid inside its own body. So also, the Parabrahma creates everything and the existence is because of Parabrahma, it comes from the Parabrahma itself and finally everything goes back to the Parabrahma itself. Therefore, uh, this concept cannot be replicated by anybody else. This is a unique quality of Parabrahma and nobody can claim to have this quality. Arjuna says, hey Bhavan, Parabrahma, you are the person which makes this creation, which absorbs this creation as well. Here there is one more sentence in between which says, he is the reason for sustenance of everything. So how do we understand that? The Lord is 
in charge of sustaining everything once he creates it. Now think about it, there are so many species that we see, right? In fact, uh, Srimad Bhagavatam says that there are um, uh, lakhs and lakhs of species in existence. There are species in the water, there are species in the land, there are species which can travel in both places. Now, how do they sustain themselves? Who provides them all the food? Who takes care of all their requirement? In fact, in humans, who provides us with the oxygen? Who provides us with water? Who provides us with everything? If you just take a little baby, even before the child is born, the Lord knows that the child needs to survive, it needs the nutrition. So who creates the milk to be supplied to the child by the mother? So all this is done by the Parabrahma who takes care of sustaining us. So Arjuna here says that that particular Parabrahma is you, O oh Lord. After this comes the next beautiful word which is Parandhama. So what do we mean by Dhamma? Dhamma, Jyotir Suchayati. So, Jyoti means light. Now, Dhamma here refers to not just the light, he says Parandhamma, which means the light of all the lights. So, the source which can give radiance to other things. Now, sun gives radiance to the moon. So, is sun the Parandhamma? Now, the question will be answered as who gives light to the sun? Now, the Parabrahmam is the one which gives light to the sun, right? Therefore, that Parabrahmam which gives light to the sun is called as Parandhama. So, the source which gives radiance to all the radiating bodies is called as Parandhama. So, what is the source of light for the Parandhama? It does not need any source. It is the source by itself. Therefore, it is the ultimate Dhamma which is Parandhama. In fact, we saw the meaning of this when we discussed about the name Keshava because the Lord's hair is so radiant that it gives radiance to all the radiant objects uh, in the universe. We also saw a similar meaning when we were discussing about Rishi Kesa. So, so much is the radiance of the Lord that he gives light to everything which is existing. Now, the final word Arjuna says is Paramam Pavitram Bhavan. You are the purity, the ultimate purity. Now, what do we understand by ultimate purity? Because there can be some objects which are pure. Now, we say that Ganga Jal is pure. So, we go take a dip in the Ganga Jal. Now, so is Ganga Jal Paramam Pavitram? Paramam Pavitram means the one which can make the Ganga Jal as Pavitram. So, now Arjuna says that, I have done so many mistakes. I have been doing a lot of things. In fact, even now I am so confused whether I should fight or not. So, I am nowhere close to being pure. But you know what? You are the Pavitra. You are not just Pavitra. You are Paramam Pavitram, which means you can purify those things which are not pure also, thereby purifying that and you being pure by yourself. So, you are the ultimate purity because you are now going to purify me and then accept me. So, he is the Paramam Pavitram. In fact, uh, whenever uh, uh, Poonal, the uh, sacred thread is worn, we say the mantra Paramam Pavitram, right? Because the sacred thread makes the wearer of the thread so pure. So, that is why it is called as the Paramam Pavitram. Yajno Pavitram, Paramam Pavitram, we say. So, this Yajno Pavitra, the uh, sacred thread that is worn, is supposed to be the Parama Pavitra. So, Arjuna is now addressing Krishna with these three beautiful names, which is Parabrahma, Parandama, Pavitram, Paramam, Bhavan. Um, in fact, when we look at uh, Sahasranamam, Bhishmacharya explains that Anandam Parabrahmeti Yonihi. The entire creation is created by the Parabrahman who is Ananda himself, he, the eternal bliss. He creates the entire universe. So, such is the quality of Parabrahma. So, Arjuna says that, let me keep worshipping you like this, who is so unique, because of who everything is sustained. You are the light of all the radiant objects. You are the purifier. You purify all of us. You are where we all come from. You are the one who sustains us. You are where we all go to. So, let's remember these wonderful qualities of the Lord and keep recite, uh, reciting his names. Parabrahmaya namaha, Parandhamaya namaha, Paramapavitraya namaha. Let's recite Lord Krishna's names and be blessed. 
ಮಾಧವ ಅಚ್ಚುದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಋಷಿಕೇಶ ಕೇಶವ ಗೋವಿಂದ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಭಗವನ್ ಜನಾರ್ದನಾ 